In this video, we will go over 12 useful phrasal verbs with the help of the highly rated TV series Friends. We will also explore multiple meanings of some of them. So let's dive right in. Open up. If someone opens up, they stop being shy or hiding their feelings and say exactly what they think or feel. Yeah, I opened up to her about all the terrible stuff that's been happening to me. I, I felt like you were someone I could finally open up to. And... You know, I wish I could get him to open up a little bit, share some feelings. You need to learn to open up to your wife or your relationship is doomed for failure. After a few drinks, John opened up about his childhood and shared some personal stories. Jane is usually reserved, but during the retreat, she opened up and shared her thoughts and experiences with the group. How'd you get him to open up and talk about all his girlfriends? You know, you get me drunk on snake wine and get me to open up and tell you secrets. How did you know you could trust the people you opened up to? I opened up to you, Alex. If I uh, open up to you, do you promise this stays in confidence? You know, it's so funny how you want me to open up to you, but you go behind my back to talk about my business. Point out, point something out, point out something. To mention something in order to give somebody information about it or make them notice it. <laughs> I tried to call you from the coffee shop. There was no answer. I turned it off. Mother of God, I turned it off. <laughs> Just like you told her you did. Just pointing out the irony. He was always very keen to point out my mistakes. I should point out that not one of these paintings is original. He pointed out the dangers of driving alone. Thank you for pointing this out to me. He just keeps pointing out how wonderful it all is. Just pointing out something that could save your life. This once again points out the fact that this is a team effort. I pointed out that even if we got to the far north, he still couldn't make a living. And, um, and I'm sorry that I pointed out that you haven't had a real relationship for the last five years because I'm the only person who can tolerate your bizarre and violent mood swings. Go over something. Examine, think, review, or discuss something. You are not still going over that thing. Ugh, Monica, you are not still going over that thing. I went over the papers and found nothing wrong. In the competition, the judge goes over each dog and dismisses it. I had gone over and over what happened in my mind. He went over the events of the day in his mind. Can you go over these instructions again? The teacher went over the lesson with the class. Okay, Joey, we're laughing a little bit, so will you tighten up the Cunningham? Uh, well, he just said a bunch of stuff I don't know there. Joey, come on! We just went over this! Oh, oh, oh you know, that when we did that was what. We're going to Las Vegas to see your dad. It's time you two talked, and I want to get to know my father-in-law. You already went over this, and I won! Now let us go over the details. I'm about to go over the ABC rules and the rules governed by the state. Counselors, meet in 10 minutes to go over the itinerary for the day. Let's go over this again. Make sure we haven't overlooked anything. 20 minutes break while I go over this new evidence and your client calms herself. We went over this, Penny. You adopted him. Keep up. To move, make progress, or increase at the same rate as somebody something. I just have to go, all right? Do I need a reason, huh? I mean, I have things to do with my life. I have a jam-packed schedule, and I am late for keeping up with it, okay? If I have a jam-packed schedule, and I am late for keeping up with it, okay? My leg was hurt, but I was able to keep up with the rest of the team during our run. You're running so fast that I can't keep up with you. I don't make enough money to keep up with your spending. Wages are not keeping up with inflation. 
Jack's having trouble keeping up with the rest of the class. All right, this is going to go fast, so try to keep up. All right, this is going to go fast, so try to keep up. It's hard work, and I try to keep up, but my hands hurt most of the time. I can't keep up with you. Sally, I can't keep up with you. Sally? Sally, wait a minute. And truth be told, we can't keep up with that IBM anyhow. No. Come on, come on, keep up with the master. I think I Come on, come on, keep up with the master. I'll find somebody else. Somebody who can keep up with me. You're growing up so fast sometimes I can't keep up with you. Are you worried about keeping up with the other students? I'm sorry. I can't keep up with this. I'm take over. Take something over. Take over something. To get the control of something. It was so wild. We told them that we were the Gunnersons in room 615. <laughs> and take it over the entire sixth floor. I'm the new manager. I'll be taking over from John. His only reason for investing in the company was to take it over. Tom moved into our apartment and promptly took over. Will you please take over your children? I can't seem to control them. Because I don't recall asking you or anyone else to take over my life for me. I want to take over his operation, and I need you to help me break him. That son of a bitch is not going to take over my company. I was his mommy for five and a half years. And Ted took over that role for 18 months. And then after he died, I took over. Catch on. If you catch on to something, you understand it or realize that it is happening. It was so wild. We told them that we were the Gunnersons in room 615, <laughs> only to find out that the Boston Celtics had taken over the entire sixth floor. So when they caught on to the fact that we're, you know, short and have breasts, <laughs> they threw us out. Wait a minute. I'm beginning to catch on. Thanks for explaining that concept to me. I think I'm catching on now. It was a long time before the police caught on to what he was really doing. Someone's bound to catch on soon. But you catch on real quick. By sunrise, they're gonna catch on to my dumbass trick. You really love her, don't you? You're just beginning to catch on to that? I don't know why we didn't catch on that something different was really going to happen this time. Throw somebody out, throw out somebody. To force somebody to leave a place or group. It was so wild. We told them that we were the Gunnersons in room 615. <laughs> to find out that the Boston Celtics had taken over the entire sixth floor. So when they caught on to the fact that we're, you know, short and have breasts, <laughs> they threw us out. I was thrown out of a hotel. Me. Go, Manana. <laughs> I wanted to kill him, but instead I just threw him out of the house. John got thrown out of college in the second year for taking drugs. I knew he would never throw us out on the street. He'll throw you out just like he threw me out. Anybody pays, gets drinks, anybody don't like it, throw him out. You threw us out of your hotel last night? Throw something out, throw out something. To get rid of something that you do not want or need. We usually throw out all our old magazines. The workers threw the trash out. I didn't save your letters, but I didn't throw them out. So why don't you take his books and throw them out the window? I threw it out of the window! Hand something out, hand out something. To give something to each person in the group. <laughs> anybody, anybody else there? <laughs> no. You sure? Nobody uh, handing out uh, mints or anything? <laughs> no, it was just the three of us. Huh. <laughs> he was handing out leaflets to members of the audience. Could you start handing these books out, please? Joy, what are you going to do when you have a baby? I'm going to be in the waiting room handing out cigars. <laughs> also, I think maybe he could hand out this new propaganda and ooh, deliver these conscriptions. Could I stop handing out the presents? I am handing out the food from the bag. Pay somebody back, pay back somebody, pay something back, pay back something. 
to give someone the money that you owe them. Hey, Chan, can you help me out here? I promise I'll pay you back. Oh, yeah, right, okay, including the waffles last week, you now owe me $17 billion. <laughs> I will, really, I'll pay you back this time. We're paying back the loan over 15 years. I'll pay you back on Friday. When you borrow money, you pay it back. I borrowed an awful lot of money from these people. And this is the best way for me to pay back my debt. Move on. If you move on, you finish, stop, or leave one activity and start doing something different. Do you guys know who Carl is? No. <laughs> well, Rachel's having drinks with him tonight. Oh, no. How can she do that when she's never shown any interest in you? <laughs> Forget about her. He's right, man. Please, move on. Go to China. Eat Chinese food. When you finish, move on to the next exercise. That is enough discussion on that point. Let's move on. I hear my ex-boyfriend is dating again. I guess he's really moved on. I enjoyed my job, but it was time to move on. She ran this shop for 10 years before deciding to move on to fresh challenges. My mom always said, you got to put the past behind you before you can move on. Can we move on to the next question? Can we move on to the next question? As we draw this year to a close, it's time to move on to a new phase of our lives. Come on, we have to move on to the next item in your schedule. The winner of this competition will move on to the national championship. We must move on. Look out for somebody. To take care of somebody and make sure nothing bad happens to them. All right, just just give her this for me, okay? Listen, buddy, we're just looking out for yeah, you. We want you to be happy. My older brother always looked out for me when we were kids. You need to look out for your little sister on this trip, okay? Let's make a promise right now to always look out for each other. You have one job. Look out for your sister. Look out for your brothers in arms, and they'll look out for you. Look out for somebody something. To pay attention to what is happening around you, so that you will notice a particular person or thing if you see them. All right, I'll give you one pointer. Look out for that bitch. Look out for your aunt while you're at the station. He's looking out for a nice apartment downtown. Look out for slippery rocks on that trail. I've fallen there several times. Hey, look out for the horse! <laughs> when you get to the second wire, look out for the bowing chap. Look out for the rocks! Oh, God! Whoa! Review every data gathering entity within a 50 mile radius starting upon impact. Look out for any anomalies. Take somebody something as something. To believe or say that someone has a particular type of character or that a situation has particular qualities. Oh, I gotta tell you, Joey, you are nothing like I thought you would be. How do you mean? I don't know. I, I guess I just had you pegged as one of those guys who are always me, me, me. <laughs> but you, you're a giver. <laughs> Susan pegged the new employee as a lazy worker. I would had him pegged as a troublemaker. I pegged her as a total bore when she first started working here, but since getting to know her, she's actually pretty interesting. I had you pegged as an angry rebel before I got to know you. I wouldn't take a look at you and peg you as a smoker. I just never pegged you as a kid's guy. Your coach had you pegged as Olympic team material. Your coach had you pegged as Olympic team material. Thank you for watching the entire video. If you enjoyed it, Please consider hitting the like button and subscribing to the channel. Have a good one.